is Sandy Tom with Earthquake. <laughs> And we're going to bring her in. She's going to come in live. It's eight twenty-six. So let's uh, let's meet Sandy Tom. She's very pregnant, by the way. So you have to look after her and her bum. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Morning. Come around here. Come and sit next to Dominic. I'll come to you. Hi, by Sandy. The way. Hi, uh, this is so lovely to see you. Thank you so much. Are you nervous? I am. I'm a little breathless from the stairs. Apart from that. I'm... Yeah. That I get breathless no, no, from the stairs. I'm not even pregnant. I'm just super chuffed, honestly. Thank well, you so right. much. Well, get yourself tucked in. Put your headphones on, if you want. Then you can hear how sexy I sound. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris, oh. I'm, I'm pregnant. You're a little bit too late to start flirting. <laughs> uh, hi, good morning. Good morning. Wowzers. I know. You have no idea what you started with that little video. I, I definitely started a little bit of a storm. You really Dude. did. Mm. Well, I wanted to get you in, and I appreciate you coming in, because I wanted to uh, talk to you about it, because I think I think it's brilliant. Now, taking, every, taking all the reasons out why you did it, mm -hmm. just as a, as a bystander, it's, it's, a, it's incredible. It's awesome. All right? <laughs> and for me, the payoff is definitely... Take it to you, go and shove it up your arse. That, that... <laughs> That for me, Sandy. Okay, it's it's the best thing on it. It's the best thing. <laughs> Honestly, it's just years of frustration. I think, and I get it. I really, really get it. I t I totally get it. But yeah. I but it's 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 gone crazy. So you it has it's gone absolutely mad. So you posted this Wednesday. Yeah, I I literally you know Wednesday night you're waiting for the playlist result. I'm waiting for the the plugger to send the text message tell me what the result is. Right. Everybody's really hopeful. You know we're all sitting on the edge of our seats, and I'm you know sitting downstairs, and I get the message, and and you're just sort of like really no come on, and you know I just ran. I think I actually sat on my toilet. And I was honestly and hysterically upset, and I am six months pregnant, so emotions are running high anyway. But sure. you know, mostly it's just seven years of being independent, and you know, self-managed, self-produced, self-released, self-financed, and still not getting any luck. You, and you, you know, surely at this point of pregnancy, is this your first child? Yes. Aren't you meant to be eat gravel and have uh, ice cream for breakfast <laughs> and stuff, and not, <laughs> not post uh, a, a very emotional, hysterical video on Facebook? You know, I, it, like, it, it's. It, I know some people think that it's a publicity stunt. But I don't think it is. No, it's not. Because That's, if it was, you peaked way too soon. Because the single's not out till when, know, like right. the twenty two some, weeks from two now. weeks, and that's this is why I don't think it's PR stunt. It's way too soon. No, it would have been the Monday it was released. Yeah. Know, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not I, a publicity stunt girl. I think it's genuine. I believe it's genuine. And, no, and, and the reason I believe the whole thing is genuine is for, for many reasons. That reason alone, and also. You go through the, all the emotions in that video. You go, you're genuinely upset. Then you get a little bit angry. Mm -hmm. Then you get angry and upset. Mm -hmm. Then you, then you just get new killer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just get really angry, and now, that's that. Now here, here's what I'm, what I'm interested in as well, and and, wanna, and I want to go through it because I want to make loads of points about it because I think there's points in here where I, I think you, you, you have a, a fair shout, but we've all done this. Mm -hmm. We've all written a text or an yeah, email. exactly. And, what, and generally, what you do is you go, Dominic, I just want to say I was really angry with you in the meeting today. <laughs> You're an ass. You're an idiot. And you want no respect. And you one thing you need to learn, my friend, you need to learn this. And you get it all out. And then you go, and then you read it back and you go, oh, blimey, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and you go for a fag or a cup of tea. And then you come back and you read it and again. And you go, oh, my God, I can't send that. And you right. hit delete. Yeah. And you went, post. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I want to know from posting it, because you took it down, mm. what happened? I, now, I predict, maybe wrongly, that maybe your other half went, well, you do what you want, but I <laughs> would take it down. 
Yeah, no, a lot of my my family, my brother was there, Martin, my tour manager downstairs, who I've known for a long, long time now, has been with me for 10 years. Um, my husband as well was a little concerned because obviously something like that, and, and I have been privy to the backlash of a, you know, people thinking I, I did a publicity stunt in the past. Right. I think everybody was genuinely concerned that I would get a lot of flack. Yeah. So it was kind of like, Sandy, I think you need to take that down. Um, but by the time that happened, several people had already picked up on it. And then it's kind of just snowballed. But, you know, it's it's kind of serendipitous in a way because I wouldn't be sat here. And there's so many people out there, like, you know, genuine people that have come to me and said, I totally feel what you feel. I'm an, I'm an indie artist. I get it. And also just fans as well and, mm. and other radio stations that have come on, you know, like yourselves and said, hey, like, we'll support you, you know. I don't... I don't I, in one way, I don't. I don't think it's it, in the long run it will do you that th- that much harm. And in fact, in fact, if anything, it's almost an accidental stroke of genius. But you are you are gonna. And here's here's the point for me: is you can't keep everybody happy all the time. No, you can't. And if you made the greatest record in the history of the world, there would still be people who go, "It's crap." <laughs> because that's there's, and there's nothing you can do about it's the it. truth in it, and I'm okay with it, honestly. Yeah. You know, because it's... because that's and that's and that is, but there will be people who go good on you, yeah, good, and there will be people who will come to you and find your music for all the wrong reasons, yeah, but you will accept them. It's brilliant. It it, it has been a, a like you say, it's an accident. Well, I'm not going to call myself a genius, but it is an accidental, you know, it's, thing that's happened yeah. and. Paul McCartney always said, watch out for the happy accidents in yeah. this business, you know? How do you feel now about about, about it all? Are you, obviously, you've, your emotions are nowhere near as high as they were at the video. Yeah. So now you're sitting here now. How do you... How much of it do you still stand by? I stand by all of it. Right. A hundred percent. Right. You know? I mean, what I said was it was in the heat of the moment. It was, you know... Yeah pregnancy emotions injected in there and whatnot but it was a completely genuine message and i i stand by the whole thing 100 percent. because there's the, 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 there is an element to it can we can we play it well i've got to play it you can play it. <laughs> i've got to play it and it is a roller coaster and I, I want to run through what i thought as well and and feel free to say i'm wrong or you agree i don't mind Okay. So this, th- I found about this. So my fr- the reason I saw this is my friend Dave, mm-hmm. who uh, he, he, he writes a lot of music and writes a lot of stuff. Yeah. So he, Dave, who, who did the jingles for our show, who made made this, um, he posted it going, you know, this is this is really interesting. You know, I hear this a lot, and he's worked in radio. So he said it's it's really interesting to see the reaction to somebody who, in a meeting, in a playlist meeting, when they choose what songs get played or what don't get played, he goes, it's very interesting to see the other side of that, you know, in its raw estate. And he goes, regardless of the song, this is very interesting to watch. So I thought, okay, I've got to watch this. I didn't know what it was. And then I watched it. I just heard that um, Earthquake didn't meet the Radio 2 playlist. Now, at that point, I'm like, oh, oh grow up, love. <laughs> <laughs> Jog on, all right? <laughs> Boo, who, where, where? And I changed so quickly. Yeah. And I want to make this video so that people realize how much it hurts. If you go any high-pitched, only dogs will be able to hear you. And at that point, I thought, oh, you're genuinely upset. You're very genuine. So I've I think got, only my dog was in the room at the time, to be honest. <laughs> oh, by the way, Sandy, your dog has its own Twitter account. Laddie. Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you tweeted this morning. You should have seen Laddie Thomas' face when I said on the Christmas show. And I thought, I genuinely thought that was your fella. And I look, it's a picture of a dog. <laughs> seemingly wearing a ribbon. He's wearing a little tartan ribbon. He's wearing a tartan ribbon. There you go. <laughs> I apparently can do no right. I wrote a song that is pop and it's catchy and it fits their format and there's no reason why they should playlist my music. Now, oh, there's a couple of points that I want to ask you about. Is A few people have said that you shouldn't be writing songs for Radio 2 just to get played. I, I'll be honest... I didn't. I didn't, I don't think you've done that. No. Unless I'm wrong. I think you've written a song and you've gone. Do you know what? Actually, now at the end of the day, this this is this is right. Radio Two Street. Yeah. Am I right? I mean, I've written. I've released three albums since my first two albums with Sony, and right. it's, you know, 
they were for niche markets for the most part. Mm. Um, I've never done anything other than for the love of music, you know, made records in Nashville, worked with real people. And that a lot of that people don't know about because we've well, never heard it on the right. You know, so, no, I, I wrote the song about uh, a real life situation and, you know, it's just the way I naturally write music. Yeah. But so, absolutely, you didn't write it for that reason. No, not at all. Right, which I, I, and I get that. You I, don't sit down when you're no. writing the song going, right, okay, um, I think this is going to be perfect for Radio 2. Exactly. And, uh, and as it turns out, it wasn't anyway. So, Steve Ridley. <laughs> but then you say, you go, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why you, I can't remember what you, how you worded it, but you go, there's no reason why they shouldn't be playing it. And, but again, and then this is back to my point. And, um, it, it, you can't keep everybody happy all the time. Yeah. And the reason they, whatever re I don't know what reason they've given for not playing it, but the reason is got, part of the reason has got to be, we just, it's just, I don't know, it's, it just wasn't good enough. At that time, I don't know if there was another song, whether it's between you and somebody else. Yeah. I've sat in those playlist meetings at the BBC. Years ago when I joined Radio 1, I sat in there. And they can be brutal. Yeah. But it's not... Um, and I don't know what, what it's like anywhere else. But I've, I've sat there where they've gone, well, the record company say if this one doesn't really work, the, the probably, they might be dropping this act because it's not, you know, but what do we think? When I all think... That, and it, and it's, it is really harsh. I'm not a media darling, you know, and, and I don't have this whole massive campaign around me. Well, you know, this is serendipitous, like I say, but... You know, I didn't have the whole story or anything to surround me. So, you know, yeah. and, and I'm not on a major label and I don't have tons of money. And, you know, all of those things stack against me. And there was probably someone else that got the spot that is on a major and, you know, they probably don't want to I think if, the Apple I, th I think if, if they had, have, if Radio 2 had a playlist today, it would have been an amazing victory. I think the obvious... Re because you're independent, right? Mm -hmm. So you you got your own label and you and you do it all yourself. You get on iTunes and Google and everything. And you just read it. It's all down to you. Which, yeah. by the way, is a hell of an achievement. By the way, so we can't we can't even get a phone number for anybody at iTunes when we've had podcast <laughs> problems. True, that's not even a joke. No, it is true. So to get stuff on there, that, it's not the easiest route to go down. And I'd say that genuinely to anyone listening, it, the iTunes thing is it's quite a weird thing. Um, but it would have been more, holy crap, they've playlisted you. Yeah. The chance of them not playlisting you than actually playlisting you, in my eyes, it's way higher. They, mm. In, re, in re, the real world, in, in my view, you were never going to get playlisted unless something unbelievable happened and they did playlist you. Does that yeah. make sense? It totally makes sense, but there's a lot of carrot dangling that goes on. But you of, know? Co of course. It's brilliant, we love it, it's perfect, with, you know, all positive response, and you're like, I really think this is going to happen this time, you right. know? And, um, you know, I think after seven years of, like, independent releases and the fact that the only things that are in rotation are the records that I made when I was with Sony is maybe not a coincidence. Well, it's I don't know. I, I, I genuinely, I heard you say that the other day, and I, I just think they're, because they're the most well-known songs. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's like, it's like me. If I'm going to play a song by Arctic Monkeys now, I've got two options. I could either play the most obvious Arctic Monkeys song that everybody's going to go, oh, Arctic Monkeys love this, or you curveball it and play a song that m makes some people go, oh, my God, you never hear this Arctic Monkeys song ever, or a lot of people are going to go, I don't know what it is. So I don't think there's much conspiracy in that. I just think it's, mm -hmm. it's you know, the, the song... Here's to harsh reality... Who's Sandy Tom? She did the punk rockers right. when I was in the house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's exactly. just live. That's just live. Who's Chris Mars? The fat fella used to be on Radio 1. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I am. Yeah, the gobby idiot. It's, that's, that's the way it is. A hundred percent, yeah. You know, maybe if I was dating a footballer and making a sex I don't, tape. And... I don't think that would make any difference. I really don't. I don't yeah. think that's... I, I, I really don't think that would make any difference. And I'm, and I'm speaking... From my heart and for your husband, if you make a sex tape with a footballer, I don't think it's going to guarantee you a playlist. That's <laughs> <laughs> just a wee joke. I know it is. Um, no, I, I, you know, I think the thing is, is that, like you say, it was a genuine moment, and and like we all do sometimes, spontaneously go right, hit send or post or whatever. That's kind of brought up this much bigger issue. So, can we get back to you getting angry? Because <laughs> we've, we've just done the crying bits, and I want to get to the angry bits. Okay. Okay. 22 million people across the country who will not get to hear this song because of one person's decision. Honest to God, I am f***ing sick really? to death this is where she of goes. bullshit oh. this industry pulls on people like me. And I have had it. 
By the way, listen, we played it this morning, so don't worry about the 22 million. At least 2,000 people have played it today. <laughs> <laughs> Now I want to talk about this bit. I am done with this industry and it's bullshit. And there's no reason why they shouldn't play with that song. It's perfect. It perfectly fits their format for their station. Now, I want to say two things. And by the way, I'm going to give you a massive hug after this. Can I, can I just say that everybody did that? I'm actually grinning massively right oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's the not whole crying. Time. <laughs> I'm not crying or anything. Uh, number, there's two things. Again, just l life is life isn't fair. Okay? Sure, yeah, that's very true. And all this spur of the moment stuff is absolutely fine. There is nothing wrong with you going. This isn't fair. There's absolutely <laughs> nothing wrong with it because every single person listening to this right now does it mm -hmm. on a regular basis. It's just that other people don't know about it. We all do it privately. Every yeah. single one of us has done, and it's not fair. Rant, yeah. if not regularly, and. That's the thing. And the one thing that I, I, I hope for you, because, you know, uh, is the two things from that clip is one, life isn't fair. And, and there's no, it, there's no rhyme or reason to why that, well, there are a few reasons why that song never got playlisted, but it, they're completely out of your hands to a certain, mm. to a certain extent. And also, you say at the beginning of this, and you say it right at the end as well, my favourite bit. My favourite bit, by the way. Um, you do say this. I am done with this industry. Now, it's do you've, are you done with this industry? Because, I'm, and by the way, I expect you, and I hope you do a 100% U-turn and go, no, I'm not. I think probably from this, you know, I would say no. Good. I think at that moment in time, I was fed up to Good. the point of, no, that's it, I've had enough. Good. And let me tell you why. You're allowed to rant and you're allowed to say, stuff this, I'm done. But don't. Because I would say, this is what I would say. You could be working in Greg's in a year and a half, serving sausage rolls over the counter going, and a couple of number ones. Mm. <laughs> or... This this is your career. This is your full time yeah. job. And if you and I know this sounds silly. If you can make enough money doing what you do, making songs that you like, and that f feeds your family and you, yeah, that's the best position to be in. Everything else is a bonus. That's pretty much all I've ever done. You yeah. know, gone out, toured, sold CDs. You know, made a living, kept it going, sustained it for ten years. Now. And don't stop. No. And I don't won't. stop. And the industry, yes, can stick it up their ass, but still go anyway, right? You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to s s swear at the industry, but then still be part of the industry. And I think you should. Yeah. And I hate radio. To be honest, I think that it, it, do. it's it's time for a change anyway, you know? I'm just, I think it's time to move on and find other ways of going forward. Well, but but I don't think you're doing necessarily anything wrong. You still gig, you still sell tickets, and people still come and see you, and you put you, you sell your stuff, and people still buy it. This is going to give you a, a whole new following. All you got to do is just trudge through the swamp of people going rrr, 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 and having a go, and that will all die. That will it will die down. It'll go away. Sure, yeah. Um, but that's the one thing I wanted to say with my wisdom of experience, and I'm seventy years old now, and I've been around <laughs> a long time. Is just keep keep going. I think there are um, there is an argument to say that you that maybe you're too close to how it works. And when you right. first started, you didn't know what a playlist was. Yeah, you didn't know what a playlist meeting was. It might be, you know, okay, because I've ran the whole thing for so long. Yeah, I might have just become, like you say, a little too close to it all. Yeah, and and you know, no one. No, not one, not one single artist ha deserves to have their song automatically playlisted, and this has happened through so much through time. And Robbie Williams, a couple of years ago, did a massive thing about Radio One not playing him, mm. and Radio One came back and went, "He's not relevant to our audience." That's really harsh. Now I'm, I'm the same age as Robbie, and I'm there going, "What?" And then you do have to kind of go, "Well, well, I suppose if you're 18, it doesn't really mean a lot. Maybe and it all changes." Yeah. So I would say to you is you keep, I would just keep going. Oh, and, I'll keep going. And you will get a new audience because of this and fair play to you, that's what I say. But just just don't do any more whimsy cry videos unless it's on the <laughs> day of release. I'm definitely not gonna <laughs> I probably would think twice, I'm sure, if there was another moment like yeah. that. But your husband, husband must have been absolutely tiptoeing around you that night on Wednesday night. Well, you know, I was just genuinely gutted and upset. So he just got home from work and 
you know, found me in this state and, was, and I, he knew anyway. So he was just really, he just felt for me more than anything else. I have to play the end bit because it's my favourite bit and it really makes me smile. Okay. Uh, and I hope it makes you <laughs> laugh now in, in, the, in, the, in the warm light of day. Because this is just, for me, hearing this is just beautiful. I have had it enough. I am done. F*** you, Radio 2. F*** you, Bower Network. <laughs> and f*** the lobbyists because it is utter s***, okay? That's a f***ing good... You're going to be a mother! <laughs> <laughs> I know, my poor baby. In this the is terrible! The mother. first time your, che your teenage child swears and you look at them and they go, <laughs> No, Mum, seriously, you... <laughs> I've got this thing on this old website called YouTube... Uh, YouTube history. So, there is no reason why you need to do this to me once again. I am done. I have better things to do with my life and my time. So, see you later, okay? Take your tube or shove it up your arse. Yeah! You don't care anymore. By the way, and that's the, that's the worst thing as well, which is you, you've gone into absolute classic uh, <laughs> argument mode, right? Which is this. You this, you that, you the other, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do care. No, I don't. No, I don't. Look at me. I don't care. <laughs> Which is like, we've all done it. Everyone always does that. It's the end of the argument. We've got nowhere to go. Go, oh, no, I'm not bothered. I'm a bothered. You basically said, I'm a bothered. <laughs> I'm a bothered. <laughs> basically said, I'm a bothered. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but you didn't just say that. You also said, Take your tube or shove it up your arse. And, there, and by the way, this catchphrase is already going around the corridors of Radio 2. <laughs> I haven't got proof of this, but I'm telling you, someone's holiday doesn't get approved. Something. <laughs> oh, well, they can show it up their ass. There'll be t-shirts made. I will Sunday. forever be made. That will be my phrase that I've coined <laughs> now forevermore. Yeah. You'll be doing, in about a year or two's time, you'll be voicing a documentary on Radio 2. <laughs> I don't know what the name of it will be, but I'd really like to get Shoulder Bit Your Ass trending on Twitter, but I'm not sure, out of context, would that be a bit weird? Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly a bit weird. <laughs> Especially if I put Sandy's name in it and no one knows what the reference is, oh. and I'm like, oh, Chris, that's a little bit, what are you talking about? Well, <laughs> thank uh, you for making me laugh about it. Oh, well, I've not actually heard it in full, to be honest. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's classic. It's beautiful. Um, I wish you all the best, and good luck with everything. Thank you. I and really honestly do appreciate you having me on here. I was... You're welcome. And more, and more importantly than all of this crap is your little baby that is growing inside you, which yes. is an amazing, amazing thing. And I wish you and your husband all the oh, best. Your first you. child. Yes, it she, is. Without saying, do you know if it's a boy or a... Oh, it is a boy. a boy. yeah. Well, listen, I think if you need extra middle names, Christopher is a beautiful name. Well, my brother's name is Christopher. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> you see? Maybe, maybe give them the, 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 your lovely baby boy the middle name of Radio Two, right? This is a weird. <laughs> or Ken Bruce or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ken Bruce. Ken Bruce. <laughs> uh, and good luck. Where are you living, by the way? Um, I actually just moved back to the UK a month ago. Right. Um, and I live in live in Essex just now. Nice. My husband works out in Essex. So. Okay. Yes. Well, good luck. Essex. Good luck with your new family. Thank you so much. All very beautiful. Good luck with the pregnancy. I've heard it's for. It would be like a man passing a bowling ball through his penis, but I'm sure it will be a beautiful <laughs> experience for you. <laughs> Um, well, you know, there's lots of there's lots of things that go on that help you out in the process. So yeah. It's not as bad as exactly. It You'll be totally fine. Nice to meet you, Sandy. Nice to meet you too. Good luck, Sandy, Tom, and don't forget, everybody. Oh, hang on, where's my clip? Take your tube or shove it up your arse. There you are.